According to the Japan Coast Guard, two Chinese Coast Guard ships intruded into Japanese waters near the uninhabited Senkaku Islands. As reported by Kyoto News, officials said following the intrusion, the Japanese government set up a special team at the Prime Minister's office to monitor the situation. The Japan Coast Guard further added it had sent vessels to the area to protect the fishing ships while repeatedly urging the Chinese ships to leave. The Chinese government ships left the territorial waters after this. As reported, Chinese Coast Guard ships entered Japan's territorial waters around the islands for the second day in a row. It's noted that the Chinese vessel was potentially armed with a water cannon. Tensions have escalated between the two countries after Beijing enacted a legislation allowing its Coast Guard to use weapons against foreign ships that it views illegally entered its waters. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how the Senkaku Island dispute could result in the US and Japan taking on China. Let's get into the details. This video is sponsored by the free-to-play military vehicle combat game War Thunder. We talk a lot about military vehicles on this channel, but what about trying them out for yourself? In War Thunder, you can choose from more than 1,200 playable vehicles from the 1930s to the 1990s and go to battle on more than 80 theaters of war. You can fly aircraft, helicopters, drive tanks, and command ships of all types and sizes, which have been carefully recreated from their real-world counterparts. It's available as a free download on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One with cross-platform support. So grab your friends and give it a try. All viewers of Defense Updates that register using the link in the description below will also get a free premium tank, aircraft, or ship and three days of premium account time as a bonus. The Senkaku Islands Dispute or Daigyu Islands Dispute concerns a territorial dispute over a group of uninhabited islands known as the Senkaku Islands in Japan and the Daiyu Islands in the People's Republic of China PRC. Aside from a 1945 to 1972 period of administration by the United States as part of the Ryukyu Islands, the archipelago has been controlled by Japan since 1895. The territory is close to key shipping lanes and rich fishing grounds, and there may be oil reserves in the area. In September 2012, the Japanese government purchased three of the disputed islands from their private owner, prompting large-scale protests in China. So currently, the islets are administered by the Japanese government, although Beijing claims the islands as its own. As of early February 2013, the situation has been regarded as the most serious for Sino-Japanese relations in the post-war period in terms of the risk of militarized conflict. The new Chinese law allows the Chinese Coast Guard to use weapons against foreign ships that it sees as illegally entering its waters. As per many experts, the Senkaku Islands is one of the regions which has been specifically taken into account before formulating this law. With this law, China's Coast Guard could use water cannons, handcuffs, and tear gas, although the use of more lethal weapons are not explicitly ruled out. Notably, China has reorganized its Coast Guard in recent years. The CCG has been transformed into a military-like organization under the centralized command of the Chinese Communist Party Central Committee and the Central Military Commission. This is similar to the People's Liberation Army PLA. Also, the U.S. Department of Defense report of 2020 indicates that China has more than doubled the number of large Coast Guard ships over a thousand tons from over 60 in 2010 to over 130. This implies China is preparing its Coast Guard to be used more like a military arm. Japanese government spokesman Katsubonu Kato said, We made a strong protest through diplomatic routes, both in Tokyo and Beijing, strongly demanding that they immediately stop their moves to try to approach Japanese fishing vessels and that they swiftly leave the territorial waters. 
He added the country has repeatedly demanded they leave while ensuring the safety of fishing vessels and stated Japan can never tolerate such moves. China justified the intrusion by its Coast Guard vessels into Japan's territorial waters, claiming that they are the country's inherent territory. Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesman Wang Wenbin told reporters that Beijing's patrol and legal enforcement activities in the waters near the islets are legitimate measures taken by China to safeguard sovereignty in accordance with the law. The U.S. is Japan's ally and is bound by the Treaty of Mutual Cooperation and Security to come to Japan's aid in case Japan faces aggression from an external party. Japanese Prime Minister Suga and American President Biden spoke recently. As per reports, during the first call since taking office, President Biden expressed his unwavering commitment to the defense of Japan, including the application of Article 5 of the U.S.-Japan Security Treaty to the Senkaku Islands. Importantly, both governments, said President Biden, also expressed a commitment to extended deterrence. This term is referred to the potential use of nuclear weapons to defend an ally. It's to be noted that U.S. bases like Guam house long-range strategic bombers, which can be used to deliver nukes. The United States Defense Secretary, Lloyd Austin, had earlier said the country remains opposed to any unilateral attempts to change the status quo in the East China Sea amid tensions with China. According to Japan's constitution, it is a pacifist country. Article 9 states that the Japanese people forever renounce war and the threat or use of force. Japan has watched as China has heavily upgraded its military over the last two decades. Chinese People Liberation Army has added a considerable amount of high-end hardware, apart from having a much larger size, enabling it with numerical superiority in terms of the number of personnel available. Chinese Navy has seen a major surge in its capacity. It was earlier a green water navy capable of operating only in regional areas close to home, but it's now become a full-fledged blue water fleet that has the ability to carry out operations far from China's coastlines. It's also now considerably larger than Japan's navy in both overall tonnage and number of ships. Chinese Air Force is also modernizing at a rapid pace. Japan will find it very difficult to defend the Senkaku Islands in case the Chinese launch a full-scale military operation to capture them. This is especially true as Japan doesn't have nuclear deterrence. In this situation, intervention from the U.S. will be paramount and expected as per the commitment from U.S. President Joe Biden. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this, hit the like button if you find the video interesting, and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.